In this video, I would like to cover the basics of how the copy command in AutoCAD works. So in the last video, I went over the basics of how the move tool works, and now we're going to be looking at copy, which is directly below that, and really it's pretty similar to how the move tool works. So on my screen, uh, I have the same 12 inch by 12 inch polyline square that I'm working with. And then I just have this little line down here to illustrate um, a distance. This is 12 inches and this is 24. So if I want to copy something, um, you know, much like the move command, what I need to do is select copy or type in CO or copy. I pick the object that I want to copy. Now, you are able to select multiple objects when using the copy command. So once you're done selecting, you must hit enter to tell CAD that's what I want to copy. Now you need to pick a base point. This is where you want to copy from. So I'm going to pick this lower left hand corner as my base point. And then once I do that, you'll see that I can actually just take this and put it in any direction. So if it doesn't matter where it is, I can just click out here and say, oh, I want one there, and I want one here, and I want one here, and that's fine. And to end the command, I can just hit enter. So now I have three more identical copies of this 12 inch by 12 inch box. If I want to get rid of those, I can just select them all and hit delete. Okay, so I do copy, select this again, Remember, I have to hit enter to end that selection part of the command. Then I pick the base point. That's where I want to, to copy this object from. But this time, you know, I could do just like I did with move and actually click on itself and say, I want the copy to actually snap to this point, for example. I could do it to this one and so on. So you're able to actually snap to the object itself that's one way to copy it. Or by using copy, enter, picking the base point, I could actually say what distance I want this to go. Okay, so I could copy this out and I could say I want this to go 24, enter, and that would be 24 inches from here out. Okay, and I know that because it's a 12 inch box and another 12 inch box, so that would give me 24 inches. And then if I want to do another one, I really have to start doing some math. So then I would have to say maybe 48 inches and so on. Okay, so that's another way to copy. So if I want to copy one down here, I can just grab the base point and snap it where I want to go. So you can very easily create copies of an object or objects that you're interested in and very easily place them. Don't forget that, you know, once you get a command going, I have all of these copies. I can then just use the move command, for example, grab it and move this one where I want it to be. So they're, you know, very interchangeable. So don't get hung up on using just one command or another.